Halloween, Halloween, Halloween day. Get, get dressed up and play and play. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween night. Get, get dressed up and have a fright. Zombie tag, zombie tag, zombie tag. It's time for Zombie Tag, Chapter 7 and Chapter 8. Tiny chapters with big reveals. <laughs> chapter 7, Chi, and Chapter 8, Ba. Chi, E, R, San, Si, Wu, Liu, Chi, Ba. Chapter 7, What are you going as? Remember, it's Halloween. That's the big question. The dark truth behind the mystery of the ghost is hidden in time. For now, let's turn back the clock and talk about what happened in the few hours that the Kung Fu Cowboy was gone to the past. With a book, everyone can go back in time. Hey, that's just true. Books are like time machines. I love books. Don't you love books? Oh, uh, well, I can't shoot. Well, I can't shoot. I love to read books. Uh, well, I can't shoot. As it was now Halloween, Sunny Day spent most of her day working on her costume. Sam came to visit Sunny Day, just as she was grabbing a big white sheet. Dun, dun, dun! Oh, are you going to the party as a ghost? Sam asked. No way, Sunny Day said. That's... <laughs> Wait, what? Seriously? Come on, nah, that's too old school. She pulled away the sheet. It was just a covering. The cute detective girl with pigtails continued. I am dressing as a scary robot. <laughs> After putting on a costume, Sunny Day explained it to Sam. She spoke in a machine-like voice. I am Killzo, the killer robot. Sunny Day couldn't help but giggle at her own idea. LOL, LOL, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, 001010101. <laughs> Sunny Day's costume was silver and looked like plain metal. But it was really just light painted cardboard. The arms were covered with thin silver fabric. Sunny Day knew she had to keep the arms flexible so she could grab as much candy as possible. Hmm. A big part of Halloween is seeing who can grab the most candy and then sharing it with their friends. Of course. Of course. Sunny Day got the idea from the Game Master. She had seen it on the Game Master's website, how to make a robot costume. Hmm. Even wearing the costume was a game. That's right. With the materials she bought, she didn't know what the color of the robot was going to be until you wore it in the moonlight. Under direct moonlight, the silver robot costume would turn colors. There was a 40% chance it would turn white. There was a 20% chance it would turn black. There was a 20% chance the robot costume would turn green. And a 10% chance that the costume would turn bright, bright pink. Huh. What color do you think Sonny's costume will turn? Hmm. Chances are my robot costume will turn black, Sunny Day said, while looking into her magic fan that told her the future. Look, Sam, my costume is black in this picture. Oh, cool! A giant black robot! Wow! Seriously! Sam began, handing Sunny Day some beef jerky. <laughs> you should eat this and say it's human meat. <laughs> human meat! Sam! That's disgusting! I love it. <laughs> I mean, Killzo loves it. I love it. Ha ha ha. Human meat. Kill all humans. Kill all humans. L O L. Zero zero one zero one zero one. So, what is your costume, Sam? Uh, can you guess? Sunny Day looked at Sam's fuzzy brown costume. Are you a lion who got his head bit off? No, way off. Guess again. Oh, oh. Are you a dead beaver that drowned in his own dam water place? Wrong again. Here's a hint. I am a real evil that we see every day. Can you guess? Hmm. Are you dressed like a small rat that Mr. Magic turned into a giant rat? No, but you're closer. 
Look at my red, red eyes. It's gonna bite you, bite your ankles. Ankles anyway. Ah, 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 ah. You are going as an evil squirrel from under bench 59. Is that correct? Is that affirmative? <laughs> affirmative. You, you hit the nail on the head. Uh, but they don't live just under the. Don't they just live under the parking garage? Or what's up? They have spread. Those evil squirrels will soon be everywhere. Beware, beware. They will exterminate, exterminate! Oh. Anyway, I am an evil squirrel. To show off, Sam ran around, flashing his claws and shaking his fuzzy, fuzzy tail. The big brown suit was a little too big, especially around the feet. So Sam slipped and fell. Sam almost hit his head on a sharp table. But Sunny Day caught him with a robot tail that seemed to shoot out of nowhere. Wow, you saved me. I thought I was going to get hurt for sure. How did you do that? I see both of your arms, one arm, two arm, but uh, they're both at your side. Just hang, uh, and, and yet your tail came out and saved me? Uh, how did you do that? Let just say it is a new magic trick I just learned, and I can never reveal the trick. Ha 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 ha! Chapter eight. <laughs> Chapter eight: A wild costume. Hidden below the busy black concrete streets, down where only animals live, there was a fun and safe house of mice. Nice mice. The nice mice had a daughter that they raised from when she was a baby. She was wild. And, well, that is also her name. Wild! Down below the street, Wild was busy cutting up a white sheet. Oh! Even the little nice mice were helping her by biting little holes in the fabric. Mm. So my nice... Ooh, ooh. So... Oh! Here we go. So my niece is going to be a ghost for Halloween? Asked Shushu the panda. <laughs> he was in the corner chewing on bamboo candy. <laughs> no! Quack ya ya. Wild is helping me make a trap for the evil chef. Ah, that is chasing me. Evil chef. Ah, I want to eat him. Ah. Uh, yeah, Uncle Shushu. Ya ya is right. Hmm. The ticking of the chef's watch has been heard in our neighborhood. I will lay this white sheet on the ground with lots of holes in it. When the chief runs by and steps in a hole, we will pull him up Aha, by his feet. He will be trapped and Yaya can relax for a while while we have him in custody and do what we want with him. Ha ha ha. Soon enough, the streets grew quiet. <gasps> Then the familiar sound came out of the darkness. The tick tock, tick tick tock, tick tick tock, tick 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 tock, tick, tock of the chef's oversized watch echoed down the alleyway. The nice mice were afraid. Ooh. And the usually overly brave duck was terrified. Yaya knew that the ticking watch told the chef when the next duck was finished cooking. Dun, dun, dun! Yaya hated that watch. Yaya adjusted his eye patch before swallowing hard and stepping into the street. This was the first time he had let himself be spotted on purpose. Yaya shook with fear. <sighs> but his inner bravery and trust in Wild kept him from running. Oh, yeah! Ha-ha! <laughs> I see you, duck! I even bought, brought you some duck sauce. The chef threw a package of duck sauce at Yaya's burnt left half. A direct hit. The force of the blow knocked the duck over onto his damaged side. The chef lunged as he lifted his big butcher's knife that gleamed in the moonlight. The chef yelled as he ran at the duck. This time, I'm going to chop you up before I cook you. Ah, disrespecting you as I chop you the wrong number of chops. Ah. Everybody knows that ducks 
especially Beijing ducks, had to be cut 99 times because that's what it was to, to give to the king, the emperor. But he said he was going to disrespect him. Dang. The chef didn't notice the white sheet under his feet. <laughs> but he did notice how his legs were pulled out from under him. Whoa! whoa. Wilde had pulled with all her might at the exact right time. An instant, in an instant, the chef was hanging upside down, twenty feet off the ground, in the underground tunnel. This will not stop me! Yelled the chef. I have friends. Wayo pung yo, wayo pung yo. I have a brother, Wayo Guga, uh, and I know a barbecue queen who cuts the heads off of ducks for fun. Yes, we will eat you. We will, we will eat you. Oh, and the word pace. Chef smiled unhappily. Came in last in the in fact that he liked race. hanging upside down because it was good for his back. <laughs> he was not afraid of hanging upside down, but he was afraid of Wilde's Halloween costume. Wilde had dressed as the Stealing Monster. Dun, 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 from the first book. Go back and read it, guys. The chef dropped his knife as he covered his eyes and started to cry. No, no, not the Stealing Monster again. Not again. Ah. Stealing Monster of Shanghai had stolen the greatest power from many of the Magic Little Heroes and quite a few others. The Fierce Beast caused fear wherever it went. Wilde helped capture the stealing beast, but she still respected it enough to dress like it for Halloween. <laughs> ah, quack, quack, time to get to the party. Quack, quack, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, said ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. He was now dressed like a pirate. Pirate that, 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 that. Oh, now, <gasps> Wilde said, you leave my friend alone. Or we will send the real stealing monster to get you. Wilde yelled at the chef before running off to the Halloween party at school. Woo! End of chapter eight. All right, guys, it's getting great. Chapter nine's coming soon, though. It's called Sorry Again. It has to do with what did he say if I accidentally kiss. We'll see you next time on Zombie Tag with Mr. Mike. Yo, 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 Thank you for listening. My heart's pumping on, on, on at a slower pace. Came in last in the last man's race. Got my eyes.